Welcome to Classic Game Room, broadcasting from space. Some of you may be familiar with this game, Shockwave Invasion Earth on the Panasonic 3DO. On the PlayStation, it was called Shockwave Assault. Is it as good? No, but it does have some of the best cutscenes ever, and it's a fun game. Let's check it out. Shockwave was originally released on the Panasonic 3DO in 1994. It's an impressive, impressive game. As seen here, this is the 3DO version. This is the PlayStation version. Why not do a barrel roll? I just did. Shockwave Assault gives you the first Shockwave and Shockwave Operation Jump Gate. You don't get any blue skies, but you do get the cutscenes. It's like War of the Worlds in video game form with some of the best cutscenes you'll ever see. Back when they didn't have the budget to make them good, so they just came out cheesy and awesome. Way better than the modern CGI crap we're forced to endure these days. Unidentified flying objects approaching Earth. Plot their approach vector and sound red alert. My god. There are thousands of them. And no, that's not Laura Linney, although it looks just like her. The gameplay in Shockwave is pretty cool, but the video and storytelling steal the show. While the cutscenes are pretty cheesy compared to a $200 million movie or the new Battlestar Galactica, they're really good for an early 90s video game, many of which featured terrible actors in front of cardboard cutouts. This game features computer graphics, real actors, sets, and a combination of all of that stuff. I, I can't imagine how much this, this cost them to produce. Electronic Arts must have lost a fortune on this game. It seems to me that for all the effort that clearly went into Shockwave, it's a relatively obscure game that few people have played because not that many people owned a Panasonic 3DO. More people have a PlayStation, but as you can see, the PlayStation version doesn't even have a sky. They removed the sky and eliminated most of the cool cockpit effects to make this run on the PlayStation. I mean, I like the PlayStation, but the 3DO is just a beast. And I don't mean to beat up on this game because I actually really like Shockwave, but if you've played this on the 3DO, you can't go backwards. Fortunately, as far as I can tell, the cutscenes have been left intact in all their beautiful, cheesy glory. The audio quality is good enough. The aliens have control of North America and Europe and most of Central and South America. And the game still plays like Shockwave, although not quite as smoothly. Yeah, you can feel the bromance. I've been meaning to review Shockwave for a while on the 3DO, but I've been trying to play all of them. There's a bunch of Shockwave games. And never knew a PlayStation version existed until our friend Jared from Moosup, Connecticut sent a copy to the show. So thank you, Jared. It's great to compare the two, and the cheesy cutscenes are intact, because that's what you're playing for. You're playing to unlock new cutscenes. Who cares about saving Earth? I want more cutscenes. Oh, the drama! I won't give it away, though. I'm not giving away the ending. I can't lock in on her homing beacon. Does she hook up with one of the pilots or an alien? You'll have to play to find out. You're doing just fine. Oh yeah, that's what I like to hear. Our objective in Peru is to reach Lima, eliminating all aliens... I also love the seductive computer voice in the spaceship. Too bad it's rarely clear about what it is you're supposed to do. In general, games have done a better job with mission objectives. Shockwave requires repeat gameplay just to figure out what the hell you're supposed to blow up. Her orders are frequently like, blow up the alien thing, except what she fails to tell you is that you're not supposed to destroy the central tower or whatever, just the four thingies around the outside of it. Like, thanks, I guess that's what the internet is for. You're welcome, jackass. Now, for what it's worth, this, this game did not play properly on my PlayStation 3. The mini-map in the middle would not show up and playing this blind is impossible, so I used PlayStation 2 for most of this review. But, to be perfectly honest, I would just pass on this version of Shockwave and go straight to the Panasonic 3DO, which is just an amazing game system. They're, they're hard to find working these days, but worth it. Worth it for games like Shockwave. Let's look at some more 3DO footage here. 
just to entice you to buy one. So thanks again to Jared for sending Shockwave Assault. Highly, highly recommended on the Panasonic. I should mention this also plays and sounds better than the PlayStation version. And the PlayStation version isn't awful. The 3DO is just awesome. Tokyo has been attacked by aliens. Well, they should be used to that. Patients in cardiac arrest administer 10 cc's of adrenaline. No, no effect. Stand clear. <laughs> no response. There's nothing else we can do. Save me! Save me! Oh, you suck.